Hello, and welcome to this lecture on Map Scale. The learning objectives for this lecture are to describe the concept of Map Scale, understand how Map Scale is represented, and discern the differences between large scale and small scale maps. Map Scale is a concept I think you will find to be somewhat intuitive. In the next slide, we will start with a Definition of map scale. Map scale is a ratio or proportion between measurements on the map and corresponding measurements on the ground. Thus, the idea of map scale is exactly the same concept of scale used in the hobby of model building or any other domain where a real life entity is represented in a reduced or modeled manner, as you can see in these examples. There are three common ways of representing map scale in both hard copy and in digital mapping environments. In the following slides, I outline examples of each type. The representative fraction is the relationship between map and ground units, and thus does not represent any specific map units, such as feet, meters, miles, or kilometers. When map scale is represented as a representative fraction or ratio, the scale is presented numerically such as 1 to 100,000. A representative fraction such as 1 to 100,000 is it interpreted as one map unit is equal to 100,000 ground units. When applying specific units to a representative fraction, the same units must be used for both the map and ground numbers. Using the previous representative fraction example of 1 to 100,000, if you wanted to know how many inches in ground units one inch on the map was, you would interpret the representative fraction scale as one inch of map units is equal to 100,000 inches on the ground. In this example, you see a representative fraction scale shown on a USGS quad map. Expressing map scale as a verbal statement is simply the idea of stating the map scale in a verbose manner such as 1 inch to 16 miles. Verbal statement scales are of limited use for calculating ground distances and units other than the units given in the verbal statement. Perhaps the most common and useful form of expressing scale is with a graphical bar or other visual device as shown in these examples. Graphic bars allow for a map reader to visually inspect distances displayed on the graphic bar and quickly compare those distances with map distances to determine ground distance. Another important aspect of graphic bar scales is that they can adjust as the extent of the map changes. For example, if an 11 inch by 17 inch paper map is physically reduced in size, the graphic bar scale will be reduced accordingly with the map it can still be relevant for calculating ground distances from the map using the graphic bar scale. The same cannot be said for representative fraction and verbal scale representations as physical changes to a map alter the proportions in these types of representations. In the following example, I demonstrate the concept of map scale using a web-based mapping tool. In this example, I will use the OpenStreetMap environment to demonstrate the ideas of graphical scale bars. Make particular note on the bottom left the two graphical scale bars, the top one indicating 500 kilometers and the bottom one indicating 300 miles. As I zoom the map in using the zoom in button, note how these graphical scale bars change to represent the new view in the map. As I continue zooming in, the graphical scale bars adjust to the current scale level of the map. What's important to note with this is that I have not physically resized the browser window and the graphical scale bars adjust automatically to the level of scale I'm at. It is important to develop a vocabulary around core mapping terminology. Large scale and small scale maps are important terms you should understand. Small scale maps show a larger area with less detail. 
For example, a map of the entire world at a scale of 1 to 30 million printed on an 8.5 by 11 inch paper would be considered a small scale map. A large scale map shows a smaller area with more detail. For example, a 1 to 24,000 scale map like those found in the United States Geological Survey or USGS topographic map series like seen in this example. The ideas of small and large scale maps might seem counterintuitive at first. One might think that a map showing a larger area would be classified as a large scale map and a smaller area a small scale map. One way to think of the distinction is that items on a small scale map are less detailed or smaller, much like features on the ground look smaller when looking out the window when flying in an airplane. The closer one is to a ground feature, the larger it appears. These maps taken from the USGS topographic map series show the differences between small and large scale maps. Note how the map on the left shows a larger overall area but with less detail. As the map scale changes by moving to the right through the figure, smaller areas are shown but with more detail. Let's look at these issues closer in the next slides. Let's use a disaster management example to understand the two reasons why map scale is important. The first is that data detail is scale dependent. For example, the 1 to 250,000 scale map on the far left might be effective for planning relief supply transportation routes on major highways. The 1 to 100,000 scale map in the middle would be effective for planning where to station relief supplies around a village. The 1 to 24,000 scale map on the far right would be effective for evacuation planning of specific locations such as houses or neighborhoods within a village. Each of these tasks is dependent on the map scale used to accomplish the task. Continuing with the disaster management example, another reason why scale matters is that accuracy is scale dependent. For example, if using a paper map or digital source based on a paper map to locate building positions for disaster planning, it is vital that the map is dependable in terms of the building location shown on the map being actually near where they are located if their locations were to be field verified using precise ground surveying. In fact, the U.S. Geological Survey has long published map standards to ensure vertical and horizontal accuracy of map points. In this lecture, you learned about map scale. You were first shown concepts of map scale and learn that it is a ratio or proportion between measurements on the map and corresponding measurements on the ground and is similar to other types of scale you may already be familiar with such as scale in model planes, cars, or trains. You should now understand how map scale is represented. Specifically, you were shown it can be represented as a representative fraction, verbal statement, and as a graphical bar. You are also shown examples of map scale in an online mapping tool. Finally, you should be able to discern the differences between large scale and small scale maps and why scale is important in terms of data detail and accuracy. The following are references used in the preparation of this video lecture. If you enjoyed this lecture or have any comments or questions, feel free to contact me at the email address below. Thank you for watching.